Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest. This is Rishi. So why don't you start by introducing yourself, what you do, and then we'll talk about why we're here. Okay, yeah, awesome. So I'm uh, Rishi just I'm a pediatric infectious disease doctor at Stanford. And a big part of what I do is I work at Osmosis and we make YouTube videos for nursing students and medical students and, and even for patients sometimes. And these are just kind of free YouTube videos on diseases and basic science stuff that you learn in school, kind of all that kind of stuff. So kind of what we want to talk about today um, are some test taking tips, uh, not just for nurses, but it really could be for anyone one who takes tests, whether you're in med school, uh, PA, NP, CNA school, whatever. Um, but test taking in nursing school, I know personally is, is a big deal because if you don't pass the test, you don't pass the class and then you don't become a nurse. Same with, you know, whatever. Um, so there was two videos on osmosis that you guys have done that I really liked. Um, and the first one was on the testing effect. So can you talk a little bit more about what that is and how that works? Yeah, you know, a lot of times when people are studying, I had this experience, maybe you do too, Ashley, but like we would study and then we would learn a lot or at least remember a lot. And mm -hmm. then you take the test and then you, so you binge and then you purge, right? Like the day after I'm like, I'm forgetting all this stuff. I <laughs> don't done. care about this. I'm done. Yeah. Um, and so there's like this binge and purge and that sucks for the fact that you have to keep relearning stuff, but also, you know, it sucks for life because if this is important stuff that you need to know, then presumably mm -hmm. it's not good that you're forgetting it. Right. So, um, so the testing effect is is basically like right after you learn something, rather than kind of relearning it, rather than just reading it again and again, if you mm -hmm. spend that same amount of time, so not like you're spending more time, but same amount of time, and just quiz yourself or test yourself with questions, uh, even if you don't feel ready to ask, you know, answer questions, if you just try, you mm -hmm. actually remember the material for much longer. That's the testing effect. And, and there's a whole video that we made, and you can click on it, um, or your, your your audience can click on it to check it out. Um, and then the other trick is spaced repetition, which, which you alluded to as well. And that one uh -huh. is this idea of like, if you get, um, I don't know, like, let's say I give you something to remember and I'm like, Hey, Ashley, remember this fact. Um, and then let's say you don't remember it at all. Uh -huh. Um, but, but I do like, I'm another student and I, I remember it. Then that fact should come up for you more quickly. Like maybe you'd have to answer that again in a week. Whereas I would have to answer it in three weeks cause I remembered it. So uh -huh. there's this idea of like a forgetting curve and the more you kind of figure out when you should reapproach some content, some fact, um, mm -hmm. you remember it for longer uh, over time. And, and that's the space repetition idea. So I know a lot of people um, ask me or, you know, like when you come to studying for finals, they ask you like, um, when should I start studying for finals? Should I do it? You know, you, you take basically all these exams and then you're like, oh crap. I don't remember anything from the first exam. And my advice has always been like, you got to keep studying the same material that you've been learning. Even after exam one, you're not just, not just like, eh, exam one's done, Psh, peace, I'm out. You got to, when you go to exam two, keep reviewing the material from exam one, which I think correlates with this idea of spaced repetition. Yeah, totally. And it's a, it's a habit, right? Like it's a, it's a bad habit to not do that. And it's a good habit to start studying in that continuous way. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I think as much as you learn in school, probably the most important thing you learn is to learn how to learn, right? So yes, there's a lot of stuff that didn't exist in, in medicine um, when when a person graduates that, that does exist 20, 30 years from then. So you just have uh -huh. to keep getting those good habits and, and one, like probably the best good habit you could form in nursing school um, or, or any health science school is that habit of, of learning continuously. And, and that's uh -huh. where there are a lot of tools out, actually out there that help you with spaced repetition that make automatic flashcard decks for you and, mm -hmm. and organize it so that you just go in and do your 10 flashcards. And it's just like, that's part of what you do every day. You, you shower, you floss, you do your 10 flashcards, <laughs> you like all these good habits, right? Uh -huh. So um, just making that part of your routine is, is important. Yeah, and going back to the testing effect, I know when you first reached out to me and, and we were talking about these ideas um, and I watched the video on test the testing effect and I was like, this is exactly what I did in nursing school. Like I didn't realize it had a special name, but I would write my own test questions based upon what I thought the teacher was going to ask on the test. And I would actually go on, I forget some free resources on the internet and I would write these multiple choice and fill in the blank and matching questions, all these different types. And then I would send the link out 
to the test to all of my classmates and they'd be like wow Ashley you're so wonderful this is awesome like thanks and they really thought that they benefited but really I was like I benefited because I made these questions and that's how I studied was thinking about you know not just like reading the material not just going over notes and whatnot but actually like thinking what how are they going to ask this on the test potentially yeah and if you can put yourself in that frame of mind then it really helps because then you're like twisting around the information in your head and thinking about it in different ways and and that's ultimately how you're learning it so that's that's awesome that you did that for your peers yeah and i and i think since you know we have this healthcare kind of community through osmosis and through my channel you know it's especially important in the healthcare field that you're learning not just learning the information but that you know it because this is not information that you can just forget. Like if you're in a, like I'm in the ICU, if I just forgot everything that I learned or I wasn't continually learning, that's bad for my patients. You're a doctor, you're making decisions that potentially could, you know, be a life or death. I know it sounds kind of harsh, but life or death matter for a lot of these, you know, the population that you're taking care of. And we have to really know what we're doing and why we're doing it and not just like learn it in school and like, oh, psh, I don't need that anymore. Yeah, no, that's absolutely right. And, and kind of know what you don't know and know when you have to stop mm -hmm. and look things up. And that's where, you know, again, just it's so important to create these good habits early. And um, and it's very easy to kind of get by on the same thing. A lot of people just get by on their smarts. Like, oh, I'm pretty mm -hmm. smart. I can learn this. I can cram it. Um, but it's much better to get by on just good habits. Yeah. Um, because exactly. those good habits last you for life. So, yeah, th that's that's the beauty of those those tricks. Yeah, I agree. So uh, we did a video on your channel. Do you kind of want to talk a little bit about it? And yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, so Ashley was kind enough to let us animate her. So, um, <laughs> so I want you guys, if you want to check out what, what the animated ver version of Ashley looks like, uh, you'll see it. Um, but the idea is to create a. F so we have a bunch of free videos on Osmosis uh, on our YouTube channel that we want you to check out. They're aimed at a lot of the topics that you learn in nursing school. And the idea is to make them free. And they're short and they're cool and they're kind of engaging and snappy. Um, we're not trying to waste your time or anything like that. So the idea is just find the topic that you're getting tested on that week or that you're struggling with or maybe that you have a patient with. And then you can learn a little bit more about it. And so um, actually we, we made a video together um, mm -hmm. and it's uh, <laughs> one of our psych videos. And I think it turned out really well. And um, I agree. And so I'm excited to kind of get feedback from, from your audience about it as well. Yeah, so we'll I'll link the um, testing effect and space repetition and the video link to the video that we did and your channel Osmosis as well. So everyone, you know, can allude to all those things down there that we have uh, mentioned in this video. But thank you for coming on my channel. It's been fun and awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thanks for inviting me. And it would be awesome to continue to kind of get feedback from your audience about other other videos that they want made or other things that they're struggling with in school. We take that all into account uh, when we're thinking about kind of other free videos we want to make. So uh, definitely comment and, and let us know kind of where, where you guys need help. Yeah, awesome. So give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go subscribe and subscribe to Osmosis as well. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks, Richie. Awesome. Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> Bye-bye.